If you are ever subjected to a nerve agent attack, don't stop to ask questions. Mask immediately. And if symptoms of nerve agent poisoning appear, you have still another form of protection, your atropine injector. This is to be used only after symptoms of nerve agent poisoning appear, never before. Here is how the atropine works. Normally, the acetylcholine is neutralized by combining with a relaxing agent, cholinesterase. But nerve agents knock out the relaxing cholinesterase, causing the acetylcholine to build up until it paralyzes the muscle. Atropine blocks the acetylcholine, permitting the muscle to relax. Nerve agents work fast, so the atropine must be injected quickly in order that it can go to work before the muscles become paralyzed. That is why the injection is given through your clothing. There are two types of atropine injectors. You should be familiar with both of them. One of them is the auto-injector, a hard plastic tube containing atropine and an injection needle which is triggered by a coiled spring. You remove the wrapper. Pull off the red safety cap, press the blue end of the tube hard against the muscle until the needle releases the fluid into the body. For self-injection, the thigh muscles are the easiest to reach. The injection procedure for the atropine siret is somewhat different. The siret is removed from its container. The plastic cover is unscrewed and discarded. The wire loop is pressed down firmly with a twisting motion as far as it will go. This will pierce the inner seal at the base of the needle. To make sure that the seal has been broken, the tube is then gently squeezed from the bottom until a drop of the liquid solution appears at the tip of the needle. The wire loop is removed and discarded. The needle is injected into the muscle. The injector is grasped at the point where the needle joins the tube. The tube itself must not be squeezed until the needle has been completely inserted. Then the tube is squeezed slowly until the entire contents have been injected. Atropine will be given at 10 minute intervals. Normally, only a medical officer would give more than three atropine injections. If medical help is not available, and the casualty obviously needs it, additional atropine will be ordered administered by the officer or NCO in charge as long as necessary.